during your surgery or case examination sometimes surgeon will give you post mastectomy patient do you know why there can be a lot of complications associated with mastectomy he wants to know whether you can effectively identify those complications whether you can effectively manage those complications that is why they will give you post mastectomy patient your patient may have edematous malignancy mastectomy site upper lip edematous your patient may have hypertrophic scar mastectomy scar hypertrophic not only hypertrophic even keloid formation your patient may have bleeding scar that means scapula scar to look like scar to bleed that is due to damage to nerve to serratus anterior nerve to serratus anterior you can easily identify but we have to do some examination in order to confirm the final diagnosis in order to confirm the final diagnosis we will see how i going to examine your patient during your post surgical mastectomy examination you should carefully look for this scar whether your patient has hypertrophic scar whether your patient has keloid formation then look for the radiotherapy mark sometime post surgery they will give radiotherapy if they think there is residual tissue so you have to look for the radiotherapy marks and you have to perform the best examination and accelerate examination in order to find out residual mass of lymph node then check for the ipsilateral upper limb lymphedema first and see whether that limb has lymphedema or not then check for the nerve injury intercostobacterial nerve injury long thoracic nerve injury post thoracodosal nerve injury finally you have to check whether your patient has distant metastasis palpate scalp and see is there any lump check whether your patient has jaundice or not it indicate liver metastasis and check whether your patient has virtuous lymph node or not then spinal tenderness that indicate spinal metastasis and the pleural effusion of oscillating and see and percussion and see stony dullness whether your patient has pleural effusion or not finally enlarged liver you have to palpate for the liver and check whether it is enlarged or not that is how you are going to examine your patient finally you have to present the case to your examiner we will see how i going to present it i examine this lady who has undergone a right sided mastectomy 6 month ago the scar is completely healed and there is no hypertrophic scar or keloid formation there is no visible radiotherapy the mark there are no palpable lumps or lymph node in contralateral breast or axilla there is no lymph edema in the ipsilateral upper limb intercostobacterial now long thoracic now thoracodosal now are clinically intact there are no clinical features suggestive of distant metastasis that is how you should present your case to examiner finally he will ask for the sets of questions from you are you ready to answer those questions question number 1 What is the difference between hypertrophic scar and keloid formation? If you remember my previous pictures, hypertrophic scar and keloid formation look like more or less same. Then what is the difference? Hypertrophic scar will confine to wound margin, not grow beyond wound margin. When coming to keloid, it grow beyond wound margin. That is the difference between hypertrophic scar and keloid formation question number 2 how do you manage limb edema if you remember my previous part i already told you that there can be ipsilateral upper limb swelling upper limb edema if your patient develop upper limb edema how are you going to manage you can ask your patient to keep limb elevated then massage compression is tough you can also consider prophylactic antibody that is penicillin that is how you are going to manage lymphedema next question 
what are the drugs they are commonly used for neoadjuvant chemotherapy if there is a residual tissue or positive lymph node they will consider neoadjuvant chemotherapy and radiotherapy sometimes what are the drugs they are going to use commonly they are commonly use cyclophosphamide methotrexate and 5-fluorouracil those are the drugs they are commonly use what are the methods available for best reconstruction following mastectomy they will be cosmetically unacceptable because one breast present one breast absent it is cosmetically unacceptable because of that there are several methods to work on that you can consider tissue prep repair either using latissimus gross muscle so rectus abdominis muscle sometimes inner thigh muscles or buttock muscles you can use for that or you can consider orthoplastic technique reduction of other breast as well or fat infiltration or you can consider silicon prosthesis those are the methods available for base reconstruction final question is for you you have to comment below what are the complications associated with chemotherapy and radiotherapy that is all regarding post mastectomy care thank you very much